What's up everybody? This is uh, Matt from Broco with another video. So in this video, man, I really want to kind of talk about, you know, some of my highlights from week seven and week eight of the NFL. So it's a lot of things to talk about. Um, but I'm going to really start with this. And the one topic that really stands out to me is that when you really look at what's happening with the Patriots and the Bucks, you kind of come to the conclusion that Tom Brady and Bill Belichick really needed each other. And we hear a lot. I know Tom Brady won a Super Bowl without, you know, um, you know, without Belichick, I know Belichick had a, a, you know, some, some, some like mediocre seasons, you know, where he was able to kind of at least win nine games sometimes without Brady. But if you kind of watch these two teams right now, you can kind of tell that they really, really need each other. In this video, I'm going to kind of highlight why they need each other and, you know, just give you my opinion of what I'm seeing and why I think that ultimately Brady and Belichick should have stayed together. I say, like, for me, the first reason is just distraction. So, you know, I know Tom Brady's dealing with this divorce, but I'm pretty sure this is not the only time Tom Brady had distractions in his NFL career. He's been playing for over 20 years, so this is probably not his first time having a distraction. It's the first time that it's public. And I'm pretty sure when he was with New England, I'm pretty sure that the Patriots staff and Belichick probably protected Brady from a lot of the public backlash and, and not letting certain things get out. So, you know, you kind of see that. And Tom Brady didn't deal with those kind of distractions as much, right? He didn't deal with the Antonio Browns, you know, taking their taking their stuff off, taking their uniforms off in the middle of a game. He didn't deal with that kind of stuff. He didn't deal with that kind of drama. And you see that playing out in Tampa Bay where New England kind of really did a good job of, you know, keeping that stuff under wraps and getting rid of players who, who did that. I mean, I'm pretty sure they dealt with issues with Randy Moss and never got out. And they kind of moved on from that. The staff kind of really took initiative and took care of that kind of stuff. So you kind of really saw that Brady really didn't deal with the kind of distractions that he deals with now in Tampa Bay. I think reason number two really comes down to player development. You know, you kind of look at uh, Brady. He's always, you look at Brady, um, you know, he's always been able to get the most out of the teammates that he's had around him. You know, you can, you always see that. And you really see with Belichick, you know, uh, he hasn't really developed a quarterback outside of Brady. So when you look at the kind of player development, you kind of see they needed each other. So, you know, Tom Brady was able to get the most out of whatever players they put on the field. And you kind of saw that Bel Belichick needed that, right? You know, Tom Brady was able to get the offense and make, you know, players like Wes Welker, who were good players, but make them Pro Bowl caliber players. You know, and you kind of really saw with, you know, um, Belichick, they were able to develop players, especially on the defensive side of the ball you know over the period of time so you see they kind of work together it's almost kind of how like grow like greg popovich and um greg Pop popovich and tim duncan work together right and the reason i say that is because if you kind of watched them like tim duncan was the star player but by tim duncan buying into popovich's like you know what i'm saying um agenda he, it made all the other players align you know the t tony parkers the Manu Ginobili's and all those other players in Kawhi early on in his career. So I think with Tom Brady kind of really falling in line and actually buying in, it really allowed the other players and made the other players buy in, which helped the overall player development. I think the last part that really comes to mind to me is compatibility. I'm not necessarily talking about in terms of personality. I'm talking about in terms of football minds. You know, you can kind of see even with the current quarterbacks, but it was Cam Newton, Mac Jones. Um, you, know, those, you know, especially Cam Newton really was a really had some really great years, but I don't know if they really had the same level of detail or passion or you know, commitment to the football the way that Belichick had and the way that him and Tom Brady both had. Right? You see, Tom Brady have issues with his coach, with his offensive coordinator in Tampa Bay, in a way that he didn't necessarily have that have the same way with him and Belichick. There's footage of him and Belichick talking and they're having high level conversations about coverages and everything like that. So they were just two football minds that really, really were motivated by football. And you really don't get that that, that much between a head coach and a quarterback where they're just kind of really compatible in terms of the way they approach and see the game. So I think overall, when we look back at this period of time, you know, we probably would come to the conclusion that they should have actually stayed together. So, you know, overall, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, and if you do, just make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Like I said, this is Matt from Broco. Have a good day, everybody.